Okay, so we've just finished our three-day training. Um, so can you give people an idea of um, why you uh, enrolled on this, why you were seeking help in the first place, and, and what, it, what your life was like and what your experience was like? All right, yeah. I enrolled because I was struggling at the time with um, what I called, I was battling with depression. Yeah. Um, self-harm thoughts and zero energy. Uh, no drive left in me, I was I was done. Yeah, and how long had that been going on for? Progressively over about three years, just a steady, steady decline of energy and then everything just getting on top of you. Yeah, and you had sought some help out with that? I'd been to see Tony Robbins last year. Yeah. Um, I only managed to attend two days of the four day seminar and ended up in hospital after yeah. the end of the two days um, with a heart condition. But um, so yeah, I tried, that was great for about two days yeah. afterwards, but because I didn't learn everything, didn't put it into practice, um, and sort of fell straight back into to where I was. Yeah. And you had previously sought some help in, in terms of some other therapies? Yeah, previously I had seen psychologists and doctors and, and things like that, um, which had helped again just for a little bit, talking to someone, you get the release, but didn't actually give me any any techniques and any ways that I could deal with different situations when I moved through life, which you're always going to find another, another issue coming into your life. Yeah, yeah. And so having been through uh, our training together and our interventions, um, what positive changes have you noticed and how are you feeling about things? I'm feeling absolutely fantastic right now. Um, the energy in me in the last three days has been phenomenal. Um, friends, family, they can all even just hear it in my voice, the change. Um, and the biggest thing I've learned is how to actually change things in my mind. Yeah. And no matter what it is, I can change it, I can recreate it. Fantastic. And if I asked you, um, do you have depression? What would you say? Definitely not. How do you know? Because uh, depression is something that you do, and I'm currently not doing that. I am doing a very, very good, happy, energetic state. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, Nick. So uh, thanks for joining me. So it's been six weeks since I last saw you in Sydney. Uh, for our three days of training together and immediately after our training you said uh, that you're feeling great and that you don't have depression anymore. So now that six weeks have passed uh, I'd like to start by asking you the same obvious question which is uh, do you have depression? Definitely not. How do you know? Because I'm happy. Yeah. Uh, lots of things have happened over the six weeks. Uh, quite often that would put me back in a shitty frame of mind and I'm still still happy, still very positive and just loving it. Awesome. And so how do you know that this isn't just a good patch that you're going through and that this change is now here to last? Because of the process. Um, as I said, there's been things that have happened in the six weeks that not the greatest, uh, having to realise that basically have, having to close my business down, not a not a great thing for someone to have to sort of realise and, and do, and to go get a full-time job again, but um, using the process, I'm still positive, I'm actually looking forward to it even more, um, it's just a new chapter in life, instead of beating yourself up and thinking about how horrible it is, you can look at the positives and you just move forward and it just works brilliantly. Yeah, fantastic. So, um, one of the things that I forgot to ask you about last time was the abuse that you had referenced uh, during the training, and I just wanted to ask you about that so that people watching this video can uh, can identify with that and can and can learn from that. So, can you just give us as much detail as as is appropriate uh, for that, and also to tell us how you feel about that um, in your life now? Yeah. Um... Well, I was abused for, I think it was about 12 months uh, by a family friend that used to be a scoutmaster. Mm. He used to take boys out on his boat for the weekend and uh, sort of basically have mass orgies for the for the weekend. Um, I didn't really, I was luckily young enough not to really understand what was, what was happening and how 
disgusting and bad that was yeah. for someone to be doing that. So um, I developed a few personality traits from that. Um, one of them being that, yeah, if you tried to make me do something I didn't want to do, you were in a bit of trouble. Uh, I'd get really violent, really, really aggressive, push back really hard. Um, but I can now, again, with the process, I've been working on that and it's it's great. And I would highly recommend anybody that's been to be used to firstly go and see people, talk about it. You need, you can't hide that. It's not good. It's not healthy. Um, but also you need to find a way to deal with it. So something like this, absolutely perfect because you don't have to be stuck in a mindset. You can change that. Yeah. Tremendous. Um, and one of the things that you mentioned last time that I asked you after we'd done our training was about energy and some of the other changes that you had noticed uh, immediately afterwards. So uh, are there any, any other positive changes like that that you noticed at the time? Have they continued? Uh, how are things with your energy and, and any other positive changes uh, that you've noticed in yourself and how you're handling things and in your life in general over the last six weeks? Um, my posture. Yeah, right. It, it's a really, really simple thing, but it's funny. I've taken a part-time job until I can find a decent full-time job, um, and it's in retail. And I know I used to be – I would approach people and be quite – closed and shy and now it's it's funny after doing the the training it, it's just you open yourself up nice strong posture and people just respond so differently to me mm. um it's pretty amazing so that's the biggest thing i've noticed just the way i carry myself and whenever i've got to do something and the way that people respond it's been astounding yeah right. such a little thing just instead of slouching, sit up, nice, tall, strong posture. Yeah, fantastic. Now, something that uh, somebody might question uh, watching this right now would be, oh, well, he probably didn't have depression in the first place anyway. Uh, how would you react to that? Um, yeah, I suppose anyone I suppose could say that about anyone. Uh, if you've never met me, you have no idea. But when you're suicidal, when you've got self-harm tendencies, that sort of stuff, you, you're definitely not right. There's there's definitely stuff going on in your head. So, uh, And when you pretty much can't get yourself out of bed in the morning um, and you just start crying when you're driving your car for no reason at all, um, there's definitely something not right. Yeah. Um, so, so definitely had depression and, and a few other things going on as well. So... To be able to sit down with you for three days and go through it and have such a drastic change and a, not just a drastic change, have a system I can use and a process that I can use forever. Yeah. With whatever it comes across, whatever I need to change in my life, I can use it on. It's amazing. Fantastic. And I think that's one of the big, the, the big amazing things that you've learned and that you've changed is that you've you've recognized that it's a choice and obviously in the past you didn't it, it wasn't your fault it was stuff that had developed within you accidentally and outside of your conscious awareness it was all happening unconsciously but having gone through that now you know how it occurs and now you know how to change that and now you know you have choice moving forwards and it's, would I be correct in, in, in describing it in that way? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. One of the biggest things is the choice. Um, and it's the way people, especially in the media and doctors, label everything. Hmm. You think that you've got it. Um, one of the big things with me from being abused was that people said that you will have this, this is a repercussion and this is a common character trait of people that have been abused. So that's what you believe is going to be with you for life and there's nothing you can do to change that um but that's bollocks <laughs> it's a choice you can you, if you see it and you don't like it you can change it it's that simple amazing uh, i think that's the perfect note uh, upon which to uh, to end this here thank you so much nick that's amazing and uh, hopefully you've inspired some people along the way cool thanks dave cheers mate